In previous video tutorial we learned to create database and connection string. If you miss then you must watch it. Now next important thing which we are going to do is to create registration page using web form. Change file name as you need. We are creating registration page here. To create form layout in proper way we are using here a table tag. But you can create form layout with bootstrap. In further tutorial you will learn to create form using bootstrap. And it is going to be more fun. Here we are creating three column. First column going to contain label. Second column going to contain form element and third going to contain validation message. Here we are placing newly created table inside form tag. Now we are placing all label like name, username, password, confirm password and city in first column of table. Now, it is time to place form element. At first we are placing button and reset button and changing properties value as need. For rest of form element we are placing text box except city where we are going to place drop down list from toolbox.
his different form element have different width and that make look very odd. To make width same for all element, we have to select all element by pressing control button. And from properties, we make width as need. Here, we are changing default ID with proper meaningful ID. Because proper meaningful ID help us to understand code in better way. To add item on dropped one list we have to click on arrow button and need to click add item link. Next, we have to write code for inserting form data into database table and for this we have to double click on register button. And this action move us to visual c hash class files. You find their namespace a package declaration, page load, event and button click function block. In next part, we are going to write code and explain code for inserting information from register page to database table. Thanks for your time. If you like this video then click on like button and remember to subscribe channel to get updated video.